Now, I'm sure all of us know about Disney. After all, who wouldn't? Some of their characters and movies have grown to become cultural phenomenons worldwide, yet the most well-known out of them all is obviously Mickey Mouse, their main mascot. Mickey's backstory is quite interesting, as whilst many consider him Disney's first ever character, he was actually made after Walt Disney lost the rights to Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, the true first Disney character. If you want to go even further, you can even argue that Pete was the first Disney creation. Now, Mickey's had many cartoons starring him since his inception in 1928, yet, there is one that has never resurfaced. And, that is likely for good reasons. From the sources I initially gathered, it wasn't anything that interesting. It was simply a 2 to 3 minute walk cycle, of Mickey, in front of 6 buildings, looping, and looping, and looping, similar to that of the Flintstones. Strangely, there wasn't any regular cartoon music like usual, instead, it was the sounds of someone banging on a piano, before fading to white noise for the remainder. Even more creepier, was that, Mickey, wasn't his ordinary self. He wasn't dancing, he wasn't singing. He looked, sad, and had his hands behind his back. His head kept tilting side to side, as he continued walking. Up until a few years ago, that's what everyone, myself included, assumed the cartoon was. That is, until Leonard Maltin, a well-known film historian, and critic, was attempting to release it on DVD, alongside the other Mickey cartoons. He considered it too garbage to be on the DVD, yet decided to make a digital copy, since it was Walt's creation, and since he likely wanted to preserve it, since, again, he is a film historian, Yet, when he was doing it, he found out something. As it turns out, the cartoon was approximately 9 minutes and 4 seconds long. This is what my source, TR, an acquaintance of Maltin, said when I asked about it. Initially, Maltin thought that the black screen was the end of it. Yet, when it came, it stayed for a bit. Then, music started playing, and he discovered new footage. We're assuming this is why Mickey is the way he was in the cartoon. This is what Maltin stated he saw. The first, was that of Mickey walking in on Minnie cheating on him, with, surprisingly Pete. The three argue for a bit, and Mickey storms off, furious, having now broken up with Minnie. The second scene, featured a drunken Goofy and Donald getting into a car accident, both were killed on the spot. Donald was driving. Finally, the last was that of Mickey and Pluto at the vet, with Mickey having to hear the news that Pluto was going to have to be put down, due to catching an incurable deadly disease. These scenes lasted approximately 20 seconds each, and the screen went back to black until the 6th minute mark. The scene cut back to Mickey, still walking, however things were different this time. The piano was replaced by a quiet murmur, and, it wasn't any sort of language. It sounded like crying. The noise continued getting louder, all whilst the picture began getting weird, and the sidewalk was going in ways that were impossible, due to Mickey's walking. Then, Mickey's sad expression soon turned into a disturbing smirk. On the seventh minute mark, the murmuring had become a blood-curdling scream, and the picture was starting to distort even more than before. Colors that were impossible to create at the time started showing, and Mickey, his face, I can't describe it in full detail, yet, from what Martin saw, and told me, his eyes completely fell off, and, his jaw had now turned into, an absolutely horrific smile, that had became uncomfortably extended. The bottom of Mickey's mouth was extending downwards. It went down so much, it was, being dragged across the street, until the lower half had been completely ripped off, leaving a jawless, smiling mouth to behold. The buildings had turned into rubble, and the sidewalk continued going in humanly impossible directions. At this point, Maltin had left the room, having become too disturbed at what he was witnessing. That was when he sent me, and a few others to view the remaining footage. We were told to take notes of everything that happened until the end, and then immediately put the file in the vault. The footage was still on. At this point, the faded scenes of what happened to Mickey's friends started playing again. At the 8 minute and 30 second mark, Mickey stopped. He turned to face the camera, as did his whole body. Mickey's jaw had suddenly returned to normal in the process. He then subtly said, 
real suffering is not known. As his jaw proceeds to become extremely extended once more, and he proceeded to melt and become a pile of ink. All that was left of him was his still smiling, yet extended jaw. The screen faded to black once more, and it then cut to the classic face of Mickey that would show up at the beginning and end of his cartoons. During which, a music box was playing in the background. The last 10 seconds featured Russian text, saying, Dusta Pribachitil Nosti Adivaz Drashtad Zridalia Bratno. This roughly translates to, The Sights of Hell brings its viewers back in. After we had left to report the news to Maltin, one of the employees began repeating Mickey's words. Real suffering is not known. He then proceeded to take one of the guard's pistols, and, shot himself on the spot, straight in the brain. He died instantly. From what I know, nobody else, other than me, Maltin, and the few employees I was sent with, have seen the footage. However, there have been many attempts at finding the file by several employees all of whom have now been terminated. I'm not sure if the footage has found its way online, but from rumors, I've heard it is out there, somewhere. The file is under the name, suicidemouse.avi. If you manage to find it, please, contact me, immediately, regardless of where you are, and the timing. If Disney is covering a death up this well, then, it is certainly something big. Get back to me whenever you can. TR. As of now, I have yet to successfully retrieve the file. All I've been able to find is a still image of Mickey in the first phase of his walk cycle. And, really, for the better. I think SuicideMouse.avi should remain lost 